All right, this is my first time ever doing a DIY how-to on video. So if this sucks or I got a little bit of stage video clumsiness or I stutter, I'll have to overlook that and just focus on the technical details. But I saw a lot of other people posting up what they used. I'm gonna post up what I use. Got a half inch impact. It's got a lot of a lot of cojones. I've got a 3 8 drive, six inch extension. 3 8 drive, six inch extension. I have a half female by male adapter. I have a 3 8 drive. 15 sixteenths socket 24 mil will also work uh, 15 sixteenths works pretty good too sorry road noise you can see right here there is no slop it works works just fine I have a 15 sixteenths box in wrench I don't know if that's gonna be reversed or not and then I also have a half inch drive 15 sixteenths socket a shallow socket would work better and then I've also got a torque wrench my pictures that I'm gonna post with this video they show me using a ratchet strap on the first side but I found that that was not worth the effort and I think that I can do it just as well without it if you're wearing headphones you may want to adjust them Catch your washer, catch your nut. First shock is out, or on, or, on, or on the bottom anyways. You'll do the same thing on the top. Got some wiring over here on this side that could be a problem or some plumbing or something. Catch your nut before it rolls down the driveway. Washer. All right, your inside shock is out, and I've been filming less than five minutes. Or your outside shock, rather, your inside shock. I don't know. One of them's out. One of them's out. Now here's where the magic begins. Take off your socket. Put on your adapter. Maybe. Just kidding. There we go. Sorry. Stage clumsiness is what I'm going to call it. Six inch extension. And a little short socket. And pass it through the shock mount. I don't know if you can see that or not. And pass it through just like that. It'll help if I move this up. Oh, kickstand broke. All right, there we go. Just like that. Now take your impact, or your, your backup wrench, rather. Yes. Yes, if you're wondering, I can hear you typing in the comments right now, you do lose torque going through this. Fortunately, my Milwaukee impact does not care. See, no cares. Pull that right out, and then you do the same thing at the top. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit. Alright, I'm going to turn over because my shoulder is starting to ache a little bit. Alright, pass that through just like that. Hopefully my fat head is not blocking the video. This I'll find out when I go to upload it. I will say, on this top shock closest to the frame, you're going to have to use your open side of your wrench. Not that big of a deal, though. Cool, they didn't roll. Let's don't tempt that one. 
Okay. I have both shocks of one side out and I've been filming for five minutes and 20 seconds. Now, there was some posts about these tabs being a sixteenth of an inch uh, too narrow for the new Monroe shocks. I did not super duper experience that. Um, I experienced it a little bit, but not super duper a lot. And I will show you what I mean. I was able to get it in there, start it. Well, that one right there, I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to massage it. And as you, as you, I don't know if you figured it out yet or not, but I don't even have this trailer jacked up. See, it's completely bare. Now this right here, I believe, is maybe another money-making idea. But you push this shock all the way using the leverage of your body weight on the trailer and let it extend up to that tab. Now, it got, I'm gonna switch this around for a second and see if this works. It got a little bit snug going into that tab right there. But if you wiggle it like that, it will push itself out or it'll, it'll push itself in. You see? Oh yeah. A tool that I forgot to mention earlier is this. And you will probably have to use these on the top. Just pull it into place like that. And the bolt should go fairly easy. May have to uh, may have to wiggle it just a little bit more. Of course, the first one I film is by far the hardest one I've had yet. But even so, that was still not hard. I'm gonna put the nut on here. And, uh, Another thing that you have to do is you have to torque these outside ones down, these ones closest to the frame. These must be torqued before you put your other one in. Because if you don't, you will not be able to get to it. Fasten it back through just like that. Grab my wrench. If I not got a nut, I don't have a nut on there. Washer. Nut. I'm gonna zip it down with the impact. somebody else posted up that they were torquing these to 150 foot pounds I don't have any reason to believe that that's wrong or any believe reason to believe that that's right so I'm just going to match it Let's see. Right. come on for a click Sometimes I wonder if my torque wrench is not correct because this feels like a lot, but whatever. Wonder if I could get more on it. 
could be just because I'm laying on my back. Oh, that's not going to be very easy either. The other side was much easier because I could just pull down on the other side. All right, just so y'all can see that I actually am torquing these things. Got you a little click there. You may have to put your torque wrench on backwards for a second to get your to get your wrench out. Oh, that's actually is that loosening it? I sure hope not. Let's check again. That did loosen it a little bit. Be careful when you do that. Pull your torque wrench off of your adapter, socket the extension out. Be careful, you could round your bolt if you're not careful. But I'm going to show you the money making part one more time so that you don't have to use ratchet straps if you don't want to or jack up the vehicle if you don't want to. Again, these bottom ones went in super, super easy. Maybe. There we go. All right. Push against the vehicle. Oh, goodness. That one pops out quick. And then it's going to push itself right in there. Let's see if I'll flip this. I'll show you. You may have to uh, tap, tap, tap on it a little bit. Help it a little bit. And this one here is going to be relatively easy, I think. So we can get to it with this. Just get it right where it needs to be. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot I was filming and didn't pay attention to where I was holding the camera. I'm new at this, can you tell? All right, that will go if I twist it or tap on it. I'm also right-handed and I'm holding the phone with my right hand. Easy peasy. Torque this one. Torque this one, you're done.